Olivia, what does it feel like to be part of the MCU, and what was it about the character of Sonia that attracted you to the role? Uh, being part of the MCU, for me, is a dream come true. Um, I've been asking to be part of it for quite a while. Um, and Sonia, I mean, I always imagined maybe I'd be a superhero, but actually, Sonia, I, am, I loved playing her so much because she's, she, I think she's funny. I, I find it hilarious that she goes to a torture scene with a rather chic coat, a little handbag, and um, is clearly loving her job. And I love the fact that she and Fury are friends, share a history, have each other's back, sort of take the piss out of each other. I, I, it's such an enjoyable um, relationship that we have. And I think somewhere down the line, Sonia should either get bitten by some insect or yeah. thrown into a machine somewhere yeah. that when she comes out of it, she has the power of invisibility. Oh, Samuel Wouldn't that genius. be wonderful? Yes, that would be, That'd be amazing. awesome, yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, work on that. And she'd get longer legs as well. Get longer she? legs yeah. too, make yeah. her taller. Yeah. Yes. And Sam, mm -hmm. we see Nick Fury in a different light in the series. Tell us where he is and what is different about him when the story opens. Did you enjoy exploring this other side of him? Seeing Nick Fury in a different light in this particular series, and do I enjoy showing that particular side of him? I've always wanted to be a human Nick Fury. I always thought I was. I mean, I realized that there is a perception of Nick as, you know, being uh, sort of a cold fish in ways, but the only thing that he does is run hot or stay cold. Uh, so... It's kind of uh, great to find him in the position that we find him in this particular series, coming back to Earth after what I believe or perceive to be six years of absence after the blip, uh, and seeing the profound effect and damage that that absence has done to him or what happened in his head because he was gone and trying to figure it out. And coming back and having people tell him he's not the same person that he was before. And him being smart enough to believe it and try and figure out a way to solve the problems that uh, are presented to him as the old Nick Fury. And he finds he seeks ways to find himself or to get back to the powerful person that he used to be using the networks that he had from his past and some of the people in his presence. Olivia, Sonia is a seasoned MI6 agent. What is she trying to accomplish, and what is her relationship with Nick Fury like? So Sonia's a seasoned MI6 agent, and she's basically uh, she's trying to protect her country, no matter what. That's an, a spy's job. She goes a little further than most spies. Um, and her relationship with Nick Fury, they they clearly knew each other back in the day before Fury's ascension to um, the spaceship and Avengers and everything, but when he was sort of um, on the ground working his way up as a spy, and I think that's when they met and they, I think, respect each other, respect each other's work. They're clearly working for different um, people, but... I think they would always look out for each other and they trust each other and they admire each other. So, um, and they have a laugh, which is mm. quite nice. Sam, what is Nick Fury's relationship with Talos and the other scrolls he brought to Earth? Well, if, what is Nick Fury's relationship to Talos and the other scrolls that he brought? Well, if you saw Captain Marvel, you know that Nick Fury was with her while uh, the scrolls were having their war with the Kree. Uh, and he helped her liberate uh, the scrolls from the Kree, but also knowing that their world was destroyed by the Kree, promised them that he and Carol Danvers would find a new planet for them to live on. Uh, it's been almost 20 years now and he has not fulfilled that promise uh, and the few scrolls that he knew came to earth because they had a destroyed ship so they couldn't go off half of them were in a prison camp somewhere else and the other the rest of them were stranded somewhere in 
the galaxy, and Carol was taking care of them, uh, according to what Nick's knowledge is of them. So the few scrolls that he know on that that he knows are on Earth are Talos, his wife, their daughter, maybe a one or two more. Uh, so it's a shock for him to find out that all these scrolls are on Earth, uh, and that Talos snuck them in. And he's a bit perturbed by that idea and knows that if the general populace of the world found that out, that would be an issue. Mm -hmm. So um, that's where he is right now with them. All right, so this one's going to be for the both of you. Tell us what you each enjoyed the most about working with one another. Olivia, you go. What I enjoyed most about working with Sam, that's very hard to answer was a one, there wasn't like one thing. Mm. I enjoyed the process of being on camera together, the acting together, but I love talking to Sam offset. I've loved, uh, I loved watching you interact with the whole crew, with your team, with it, the whole thing has been everything I'd hoped for. Like one of the loveliest men working, and I'm so honoured to have been part of it. Oh, oh my God. You made us both cry. <laughs> uh, working with Olivia Coleman. You better be nice now. is that? <laughs> you know, it's, first of all, it's not work. It's, you know, a joy and pleasure to share the artistic space in that way from using words that other people have written to express our relationship uh, on the inside of a story that feels like something that's genuine and not forced. Uh, that's you know, very, 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 very um, precious to have when you're doing you know, work, uh, to make it seem like not work. Uh, the joy of seeing her come in the room and light it up because no. that's what she does. You know, the the room just gets kind of brighter when she shows up and everybody's like, oh, Olivia's here. This is going to be such an easy day because she makes it easy and she makes it joyous. And you feel like you've done something special when you finish working with her, no matter what that is right now. You know, even in, you know, Something as trivial as what people think is a marble story. <laughs> uh, she she does have you know a wonderful life that you know I'm always inquiring about and asking about, and I love hearing her talk about her kids and her husband. Um, I think that you know one of the the wonderful things about being able to be in this business is you meet people that you genuinely know. Uh, leave their mark on the world in a positive way. And that's what she does and is doing and has done. Uh, and the world's a better place because she's in it. Oh, my God. Especially Sam. mine. Oh, you... <laughs> uh, I feel exactly the same. Now I'm going to cry. <laughs>